One more use case for Project Primitive we'll go over is if we go hit the comma key again and we're going to go to Project, Miscellaneous, and we have this Brush 3D template. So now if you've watched in my YouTube channel playlist, if you go to the ZBrush 4i What's New, we talked about vector, vector displacement maps, and you can sometimes use Project Primitive as a vector displacement if you're very careful. So if we go down here to Geometry, we're at Subdivision Level 6, let's go ahead and max that out to Subdivision Level 9. We're going to hit W, we're going to hit Delete Lower, we're going to go into our gear, and we're going to do Project Primitive, and let's do a full reset. And over here where it says Tessellation, let's drop that down to Let's drop that tessellation down to 100. And what I'm trying to do is avoid actually doing any sort of tessellation. So what I can do is, if I'm very careful, what I, what I don't want to do is actually cause this vector displacement plane to actually change vert order. I want to be able to make any sort of changes that I want to just by using projection. So I'm going to go over here to my blend and turn that down. So I can go through here and I can project this plane out. I can use this clipping to kind of clip that geometry back. And because I have this tessellation set very low, let's go ahead and hit accept. And I'll go ahead and move this shape. Let's go ahead and make it back into a sphere. If I pull this out, we kind of make this sphere kind of dig in a little bit here. We can start making semi-complex shapes. Let's go ahead and accept this one. And I'm going to do another full reset. And for this shape here, I'm going to go to pr pr primitive type 2 and then change this uh, outer one to zero, so we're getting a full cylinder here. And we'll go ahead and scale this down. I'm going to turn that blend. Uh, we'll keep it up just a little bit. And we'll play around the shape a little. We'll change the opacity to kind of feather that outside edge. And again, what I'm trying to do is avoid any actual, t actual tessellation of the geometry. I just want to basically use the projection to move the pre-existing geometry around without tessellating. So we'll go ahead and accept this. And just really quickly, I'm going to move this over here and we'll scale it down. And we'll call it a day. So if I've done it correctly and I didn't tessellate anything, let's go ahead and say, oops. Accidentally reset that one. Let's go ahead and scale this one back down here. There we go. So I'm going to hit W. I'm going to hit accept. And as long as I didn't tessellate any geometry, I should be able to reconstruct subdivisions all the way back down to that original plane here. So now that I've got all of those subdivision levels back, let's hit B, go up here to Chisel 3D. I'm going to grab my brush menu here. Let's hit this From Mesh button. So we go here to the very end. You're going to see we now have a new vector displacement alpha. So I'm going to grab a Sphere 3D, make it a poly mesh. We'll subdivide it a couple times. And now that we have that vector displacement alpha, we can use this to deform our mesh, you can hold down Alt. So you can make vector displacement alphas as long as you don't tessellate the object. Uh, you can use that to make you some pretty decent hard surface vector displacement alphas if you want.